Jonathan Hickman is one of my favorite comic book writers, and it's because of what he's done for the X-Men. He's helped to usher in the greatest era of X-Men comics, yeah, I said it, and I'm sad to see him go, but I love to watch the way he leaves. Inferno, both in the way it's written and the ideas it focuses on, acts as a sequel to House of X. While Swords of X was great, it felt like its own original entity. That's what happens when you have multiple writers, and it worked for the better in that instance. So thematically, this event is something people can feel comfortable reading, it also has a pristine air of quality where no piece of dialogue or narration feels wasted. To say this isn't also because of the amazing art by Valerio Skitty would be a crime. I find that a lot of the X-Men artists have similar art styles. If I binged House of X, Powers of X, and Inferno, you could have told me that they were the same artist, and I would have believed you. Okay, maybe that's being a bit hyperbolic, but still. This is not an insult, it's a compliment because they're all amazing, and they form this comprehensive world and tone for the X-Men. Together with Bob Quinn on Way of X, the X-Men titles feel especially connected. That continues with Inferno. The story of Cell spends more time building than I would have liked, admittedly. It makes sense, it's been a few months since we last caught up with Mystique and her battle for Destiny. It's also been a few years since we last seen Moira outside of a cameo in X of Swords. This means the issue does retread some trotted ground, but it wasn't tiresome. The creative team added new, interesting, thematically gripping tidbits to old plot points and scenes to make them feel fresh again. Never will you feel like you've wasted your time as a creative team catches you up on what you need to know because they are weaving in new plot points and story elements throughout. And if all that doesn't get you excited to read the rest of the series, the tingling feeling of the last few pages should. Do you want Krakoa to burn or survive the Inferno?